will show Junji. Keep your eyes wide open and see clearly. Who the hell am I? You, you, you. I don't care who you are. Stay away from me. Well done. It's normal that you don't recognize me, but you must know Shin Mu. Why are you mentioning Mr. Chen? He's a big shot in our Golden Age crew. Even I haven't seen him several times. Shin Mu, he's my vice president. <laughs> what? You, such a little cleaner. How dare you say that Mr. Chen is your vice president in your dreams? On your beauty, you don't even deserve lifting shoes for Mr. Chen. <laughs> hey, what a joke. Shame on you. Why are you stunned here? Get these two thieves out right away. Don't dirt our place. Come on, Come on get, get out. out. Get out. Well, he's such a bad egg. Don't bully my mother. Xing Xing. Brad, fuck off. <gasps> Xing Xing. Oh, Xing Xing. Show Junji, how dare you hurt people in public? Did you say I hurt people? Who saw it? I think you pushed him down. What nonsense you are talking about me? Don, I got a hundred thousand dollars in this car. If you say she pushed your child over, the money is yours. Show Junji, don't talk nonsense. Sister Shemei, you... is her... She is the one who pushed over my child. Sorry, Sister Feng. In order to save Chen Chen, I have no other choice. I will be your slave in my next life to repay you. Sister Chen Mei, it's fine. Don't worry. I am damned useless. I can save my son. I deserve this. Chen Chen, you wake up. Chen Chen, does it hurt? Mom, I remember. It's that sister who went to your restroom and put the necklace into Sister Fang's chest. You son of a bitch! You liar! You libeler! I'll beat you to death! Yunan! Children won't lie! I know it's you who trapped me. I trapped you? You shitty cleaner! You worth nothing! No one would believe you! Give it back! Manager Xiao, don't you say that. The money is for my son? Why you take it back? I said that for fun. You really think it's true? People like you are poor and stupid. Your son with you cannot live long. Why should I give the money to a dying person? For the funeral? How immoral you are. Xing Xing. Xing Xing is not going to die. Xiao Junji, as a manager of personal department, how can you say so? I decide to fire you. <laughs> You fire me? I'll fire you on the contrary. I'll inform other company not to offer you even a cleaner's post. No company will take you. Okay, Xiao Junji, you will regret to say so. <sighs> Hello, Shin Mu? Fire Xiao Junji in 10 minutes. Miss, thanks for your kindness, but you can't brag yourself as Miss Fang. You better make an apology. If they don't allow you to work here, I'm afraid that you can hardly make a living. Miss Chen Mei, I am Miss Fang. How can you keep saying that? Miss Fang is so big a boss that she couldn't work as a cleaner with me. I am really her. I'll call Shin Mu here. He can prove my word. No way, you'd really call someone to play this game with you? What is Mr. Shin? He is the vice president of the group. How can he be here? Look at you, really a poor girl who pretends herself as Miss Fang and will call Mr. Shin here? How ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If Mr. Shin really showed up here, I would take off my shirt immediately and stand upside down. <laughs> but if Mr. Shin didn't show up, you should take off yours one after another, and serve me as a whore. How's the deal? Piss off! I must be too <laughs> kind! How dare you! So what? You really believe your story? If you were really Miss Fang, I could kneel down and kowtow to you right now. Xiao Junji, what shit are you talking about? 